Hey guys, hey everyone, welcome to the camp. It's your girl Twin D, and thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you for your support, guys. Love you all, love, 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 love you all. And today I want to big up Elena Kamanak. I hope I said that right. Elena Kamanak. I hope I said it correctly. Elena, thank you so, so much. For your support on this channel thank you for being here thank you for listening thank you for learning and thank you for supporting your girl twin d all right guys love you all elena kamanak thank you for your support yes i am getting back to supporting my people to shouting you out <laughs> i got my names down anyways guys let's jump into your message our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. All right, guys, let's see what's going on here with your... Oh, oh my Lord, what am I doing? This is messages from your guides. <laughs> this is messages for you from your guides. Let's see what's going on here. Oh. That's why. That's why the whole deck fell out. Told not to use that one. Let's get your messages from here, guys. Let's see what they're up to. What they want to say to us. You know, we can't do this journey without them. They're the ones who send us our signs and synchronicities, our numbers. If we think we can do it without them. Then let's see you do it without the signs and things. <laughs> you have peace, Archangel Shamuel. Peace comes from remembering that only love is real. So there are some of us here who are focused on the negative side of this journey. Focusing on the disappointment, the pain that we feel, the hurt, the abandonment. And your angels want you to know that the only thing that's real about this journey is peace and love. And that's what you should strive for, peace and love. And if you aren't getting that respect that you need, that you desire, well then, give it to yourself. Stop putting it where you are putting it. Pull it back and give it to yourself. You have to love yourself before you can love somebody else. You have to learn to let go before you can truly hold on to anything without killing it. <laughs> what else, please? What other message do you have for your Divine Feminines? Clairvoyance, Archangel Raziel. I am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. So, Divine Feminines, like I said, your guides, they're here to help you. And right now, they're helping you with your spiritual insight, the way that you look at things, the way that you view things. Helping you to connect more spiritually. Helping your chakras to align. So that you are in the right energy to receive true love. Helping that third eye to align. Everything is happening in divine order, guys. And if it's happening in divine order, you know nothing is going wrong. Remember who you are, Archangel Michael. You're a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. So don't ever forget that, Divine Feminines. You're a powerful child of God. That's why you're here doing God's work. That's why you're on a twin flame journey. And you have the power to remain calm to develop that calmness within to love yourself to love others to teach to guide because god gave you the power 
You just got to remember who you are and focus on what's truly important. Love. You have brilliant idea, Archangel Uriel. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. So divine feminines, again, with that guidance, you have been getting these ideas on how to grow yourself, 212. How to grow your finances. How to work on that stability within. How to find peace. How to be abundant. I hope one of those ideas is to purchase twin D's um, jewelry. <laughs> oh my god. All right. All right, twin D, get back to the reading. Good God. <laughs> well, you've been getting these ideas, guys. So you can put your life in order. So you can set things straight in your life. So they can be the way that God wants them to be. Follow these ideas. These are ideas from your guides. If it's something negative, you know it's bullcrap. But once it's something to lift you up, something to push you forward, Take action. And if you want more confirmation, 646, you always ask God before you take action. Gentleness, Archangel Sandalphon. Be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments. So Divine Feminines, you may be in situations here where you're not comfortable. Situations that cause you to think negatively, to be in your negative energy. Surrounding yourselves with people who only give you negative advice. People who only make you feel sad and down because they are sad and down people who only try to tell you that something is okay when it's okay for them and most importantly take it easy on yourself take it easy on you sometimes you're the ones telling yourselves all these negative things Sometimes you're the one who is listening to your brain, listening to that mind, that ego, and holding on to anger and pain, resentment. And if you listen to the prayer that I say before every message, you'll hear that it's asking God to help us to learn to forgive and to forget. So that you can start to focus on what's truly important. Love and peace. Take back your power, Archangel Raziel. Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. You are a powerful, loving and creative child of God. Use that power to manifest the blessings in your life. Manifest those ideas that you're coming up with. Those ideas that are setting abundance in your life. And abundance does not only include money. Abundance is also peace. Abundance is making sure that you are in this energy to receive love. Abundance is everything that's good in your life. That job. That new apartment that new home, that new car. Give some God, Archangel Sandalphon. 
we angels bring you gifts from your creator open your arms to receive you are receiving gifts god is blessing you with gifts just open your arms to receive don't let your brain take over trying to keep you down in this negative energy trying to tell you nothing will change how would anything change when all you're doing is thinking but you gotta take action to bring those ideas to fruition the things you thought would never work you've got to take action if all you do is sit and think nothing will get done you gotta take action and like I said if you're not sure you ask God before you take that action because God is waiting to bless you with whatever it is you're manifesting. And I think there's a full moon coming up. I think it's tonight, the 20th, I think. 20th of October, 2021, if I'm not wrong. But anyways, guys, welcome those gifts in your life. But you got to use your power that God gave you to manifest it. Clear your space, guys. Get rid of clutter. Take that clutter out of your life so you can welcome new energy. So that cool air can flow through your house. Can flow through your home. Can uplift you because your gifts are waiting to come to you. And make sure you're being healthy, taking care of your energy, yourself. See that? Be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. So some of us here may be withholding because of our beliefs, the things that we want to do. But you got to stand up for your beliefs as long as it's nothing negative. Because a lot of people may have beliefs that they want to stand up for. But it's not positive. Alright, love angels. Romance angels. Okay. Okay. I didn't even ask the question yet. There's union coming in for you guys. Divine feminines, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Like I said, clear your space to welcome true love. Your person is being returned to you because you have been putting in that work in every aspect of your life. Not just focused on the masculine. Every aspect of your life. And you are one of the most important things that you need to be focused on. Your gift is coming to you. Your gift is coming to you. Give me one more, please, Romance Angels. Oh. <laughs> Cards didn't want to come apart. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. You are pulling your divine counterpart back to you your divine masculine it's a strong magnetic attraction you can't resist it they can't resist it and that's because you belong together but you gotta give this connection a chance it's time for a relationship pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you this message is a caution to you all the things that you need to change, the things that you need to do to welcome that gift that's coming into you. This is worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And we just saw the divine timing card. Yeah, exactly. I, just like I said, how can you love others if you can't love yourself? Love yourself first, 1441. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. You gotta learn to love yourself first before anything else. 
that's most important. Let's get you some guidance from the big man upstairs. Father God, what message do you have for your divine feminine, please? Love is in the air. <laughs> because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there exactly. Because you can't see it, divine feminine does not mean this union is not happening. Because you can't see the changes that you're making yet does not mean it's not coming in. With God, all things are possible. So don't you ever leave God out of your life. Two, two, two. Once you rely on God, everything is possible. God is a master of impossibilities. And those ideas you're getting is so you can welcome gifts into your life. Take a look at your past and see how far you have come exactly. Before you were on this twin flame journey, look at where you were and look at where you are now. And you can see if you are doing the right things in your life. Because if you're on a twin flame journey where you started when you met your divine masculine, that's not the same place that you are right now. And if you find yourself in the same position, waiting, 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 wondering where your person is, when they're going to come in, what's going on with your situation and nothing has changed, you're still in that same apartment that you said you wanted to leave, but you still haven't left. You're still in that job that you wanted to leave, but you still haven't left. You're still sitting in that space with everybody surrounding you that you do not like, but you're still there. Then you, do, you need to really find out if you are truly a twin flame. And that's where the book comes in, guys. So you do not make the mistake and waste your time on a situation that's not yours because everybody has a journey everyone has a path when you're awakened it doesn't mean that you're a twin flame it means that you're a servant of God and you're here to do God's will and the only the only way you're gonna see your true path is if you let go of everything you're holding on to so God can show you your true path if it's your divine masculine, it will come to you. If it's that you're a healer, you will find that position or that job where you can heal. Whatever it is, if it's that you're a guide, you will be, le you will be led to that place where you can guide others. Because everyone has their path. And God will put you on the right path once you stop holding on to things. That some of us, we think it's ours, but it's not. There you go. Patience is a virtue. 1818. Start thinking more positively. That's all you're going to bring in. Those positive energies. When you release your insecurities. When you stop holding on to things that don't belong in your life when you stop holding on to things that disappoint you that hurt you that cause you confusion that belittle you that make you feel like you're not loved you gotta let it go and focus on what's truly important love and God take care of yourselves everyone Love you all. Let go and let God. And I'll see you at your next message. Later, guys. To purchase the book or a reading, go to twindflamed.square.site. To purchase your protection bracelets, money magnet bracelets, and your chakra bracelets, and also your incense, your San Paolo incense, and your sage incense, your chakra incense, money magnet incense, and also your keychains, guys. Go to Twindy Holistic Boutique. That square, that site. Let go and let God. Later. Love you all.